Let's try some Filipino snacks. We're loaded with them. <laughs> All of this cost around 10 US dollars and we are so excited to dig in. We have so many things to try. Why don't we just uh, pick one out and we'll start eating. I've seen this one a lot. Let's start out with these cracklings. We got salt and vinegar. They're not like chips. They're called crack ribbed cracklings. Ribbed cracklings, old fashioned salt and vinegar. Now. Wow, you got it a lot easier than me. Oh, wow. They're like very thick and they are ribbed. There's a lot going on in my mouth. They're like puffed up? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it's really salty. Oh, I no, really, it's vinegary. I really like the salt and vinegar flavor. The texture is really interesting because I'm used to having the salt and vinegar with like a really thin chip. So it like threw me off a little bit that it's like so puffed up. But I do like it. They're really strong vinegar flavor. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I like it. Mm. I mean, it's good. It's but, so crunchy. Can you hear that? Ready? But what I call it great. They're pretty solid. Ooh, I'm gonna need some water for this. <laughs> we are trying like 15, 20 different Filipino snacks that we got from Grab. They just got it delivered from a grocery store. And so we're like, this is a perfect opportunity to get more involved with the Filipino culture. I feel like that would actually taste really good with the beer. And we got two different beers here. I've seen this red horse one a lot, but I feel like I'm more of a Pilsner girl. So I'm going to try this one first and then try the red horse. I already opened up Mr. Chips, oh. but I guess we'll wait. No, we can try it. We'll wait. It smells very beery. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's very, very mild flavor. Just got a little bit of the like wheat. I like it. It's very mild. Hmm. It's good. I think. Okay, yeah, San Miguel. I call that a pretty good beer. I want another sip of it. I think I like it. I'm not a beer expert, but it's good. <laughs> okay, on to Mr. Chips. It's Jack and Jill Mr. Chips nacho cheese corn. I Wait, think Jack and Jill yeah. was like a very popular brand. We saw a lot of Jack and Jill We got stuff. a lot. Like, is that? Yeah, yeah, that's Jack and Jill. Like, this is Jack and Jill. This like V cut. There's so many other ones too. What are these ones? It says nacho cheese flavored oh. corn. Mmm, they taste like Doritos. Maybe like a little bit less cheesy. A little bit less cheesy. A little bit more like, like tortilla. Yeah, tortilla yeah, yeah. chips. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I like these. Oh, I really like these. Hmm. They're very crispy too. Like crispier than Doritos would be. Light and crispy and cheesy tortilla chips. All right, now we'll try these spicy barbecue flavor. They're also Jack and Jill. We got a lot of chips, but we didn't just only get chips. Yeah. There's a lot of other stuff too. <laughs> there is a lot of other stuff. Mmm, really good. I feel like it's kind of hard to go wrong with chips. Like they're always gonna be delicious, right? I think so. I mean, they're kind of ribbed like, mm -hmm. rib is ribs the right word? Like the <laughs> ruffles yeah. are? No, it's rib. It's ribbed like the crack ones. I think these are my favorite chips so far. 10 out of 10. Hmm. 9 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, we can't give out 10s like that usually, <laughs> but these are my favorite so if far. If it had the salt and vinegar flavor on those chips, then it would be a 10 out of 10 in my book. I mean, all these came with like a bunch of different flavors. We kind of mm -hmm. just like tried to mix it up as much as possible. So maybe there is a salt and vinegar with that. Let's try the red horse since we just tried the other one. We can kind of compare. Yeah. I think the red horse is supposed to be like stronger. Oh my, it's 7% alcohol almost. And that one's this five. One's, this one's I five. I feel like that's kind of rare for a beer to be 7% alcohol. It does have a very different taste. Like it is stronger. Well, it says right on the can, it says extra strong. I would thought they were talking about the flavor, but I think you're, you're right. They're talking about the alcohol maybe. maybe I don't both. know. Let us know if you know. See, this one's from Manila. That's where it's brewed. And then this one, also oh, in Manila. Manila. Okay. I think they taste both good. This one does taste mm -hmm. a little bit. I think I like this one better, San Miguel. But maybe just because it's a different Pit, flavor. It's a Pilsner. You know? This is from San Miguel Brewery Inc. So it's like the same oh, company, funny. just like a different beer. So, but this one, I definitely like this one better. Honestly, I think they taste pretty similar, but I'm not a beer connoisseur. So we're going sweet now. We're going to try these mangoes, but first. I may have snuck a little snack the other day after we bought these. These ones are Sour Bites, so obviously I already know what they taste like, but I saved a few to try for you guys. Very chewy, fruity flavors, not that sour. 
It's more like sweet. They're chupa chips. Mm -hmm. I do wish they were a little bit more sour because I really like mm -hmm. like really sour things, but they're a good little sweet snack. It is dried mango time. We have had some really good mangoes here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. so I bet these are gonna be delicious. Oh wow, there's a lot of them in there. And we just like seen them everywhere. Whoa. There's so many different brands of dried mangoes. Wait, this is so good. This is why I had to get them. Cause I'm like, I knew that they were gonna be like so mm. good. Normally when we get like dried fruit, I feel like you really gotta work at it to like chew it. Mm -hmm. But these just like melt in your mouth. How do they do it? I don't know, it is a Cebu brand. Mmm. Dried mango. Oh wow, this is delicious. Honestly, that's the best dried fruit I've ever tasted. That is so good. Mm-hmm. It's so soft. How do they do it? It's almost like it's not quite dry yeah. all the way. Which, which is good. That might, that's really good. That might, might be my new favorite. Yeah. I'm I really, really like this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now something that I saw a lot when I was looking up lists of Filipino no, foods. No, prawn crackers. But specifically this brand, Oishi. Okay, so we tried prawn crackers in Hong Kong like a month ago, and I really did not like them. I'm nervous. Some of these bags are hard to open. That's like, there we go. Yeah, you gotta tear. I think you have to tear them, not like. Oh my gosh. Pop them. Do you smell it? It like immediately smells like fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. It tastes like fish. No, I really. Mean, I, I, I think the smell is stronger than the taste. It really smells like fish. Oh, yeah, the smell is stronger. It doesn't actually taste like fish at all. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Just like a little puffed up cracker sort of thing. Oh, these are good actually. Wait, uh, I'm so confused by the smell because they don't taste like how they smell at all. Yeah, I don't mind that taste at all. It says only natural shrimps. Only natural shrimps. So am I eating a shrimp right now? I don't know. We're gonna switch it up and try a Choco Mucho. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. Is not is this the wafer one? Ooh, yes it is. Wafer, ooh, I really ooh. like the way it looks. It's like bumpy. <laughs> oh, you can see that. It's like, oh yeah, there you can kind of see there's like bumps on it. What are the bumps from? Whoa, that is an experience in your mouth. Cereal Krispies, so there's like cereal it on top of there. It does taste like cereal. It tastes like one of those breakfast bars that they have in the United States. I don't know if they have mm, them here. I like that. I really like that. I really like the little bumpy cereal things. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. I believe there was a milk chocolate version of this. Oh, we I got dark like chocolate. The, I like the dark chocolate here. Mm. I like all the different textures and flavors. There's a lot going on in there. Now we're gonna try a Jack and Jill chippy barbecue corn chips. Mm. Another Jack and Jill, man. Okay, another corn chip too. That's different though. These are like, almost look like Fritos. Oh yeah. Yeah. The difference there. They taste like Fritos. Okay, so that was, well, the Mr. Chips was nacho cheese. This is barbecue. I like them. They definitely taste mm. like little Fritos. I don't taste barbecue that strong in them though. I like them. I taste the barbecue a little bit. Yeah. I mean. I actually really like them. They actually might be my new favorite. New favorite over the dried mangoes? Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, well, I was thinking about all the like chips kind of things that we've tried and these might be my favorite like chip things. Yeah, out of all the chips, they're up there for sure. I don't know if they're number one for me right now, but. Yeah. They're good. They're good. Chippy. 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 Man, Jack and Jill are just crushing the snack game over here. <laughs> I mean, we've already tried like three or four of them from Jack and Jill, but now it's time to try these uh, Saudis. We actually got Gar two different flavors of these nuts. This is garlic cracker nuts. And this is adobo, which is, we had a pork adobo, didn't we? Oh yeah, that's good. So I wonder if it'll taste like that. These are hard to open. <laughs> We're both struggling at the same time. Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What? Is this so, is... oh my, this is a big nut. It's an explosion in your mouth. Mm. Oh my. They're like hot. They're cracker nuts. Like so. the outside is crispy and the inside is hard. But yeah, like pops in your mouth. Mm, I think I like the garlic ones better. I'm gonna have to maybe say the garlic ones are better. Cause you can really taste the garlic. You can't taste the adobo or barbecue that much there. The texture is so fun though. That is like, like, that's why I keep eating them. Biting into it and it's like 
crispy, crunchy, and then you get to the hard part. Yeah, I really like that. I was like shaking it. So I'm like, is the peanut like, like inside of there? Yeah. Is that the peanut? But I don't think so because it's like a sh there's a shell. I really like that. Those are fun. They're just fun to bite into. Wow. Okay. Well, I really like those ones. Yeah, those so, ones are great. Honestly, I feel nice. like beer just goes well with like snacks. Like salty snacks. Yeah. yeah like yeah, when yeah. you're eating like salty snacks, like a beer just. It pairs really well. Like, you know how there's like wines and cheese that pair? I think like salty snacks pair well with beer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is the next one, Presto Creams Peanut Butter. I actually, they sent us a huge pack of them. I ordered like the smallest one there was and it came with like a 10 pack of these. Yeah, it was so, wild. So like, uh, we're probably not gonna eat all of them. <laughs> Even if they're really good, like 10 would be so many. So many. Looks like a cookie. And then there's peanut butter in the middle. Do you want to get one of them? I can't tell if this is going to taste like an Oreo or like... That's what I was thinking. Or like a salty peanut butter snack. Like a Ritz peanut butter cracker? Mm. Mm. Uh, they're I, not bad. I think they're pretty good, honestly. I kind of wanted it to be like a salty snack, but it's like sweet and salty. It's like the peanut butter isn't very strong. There's only a very yeah. thin layer of peanut butter there. So like... I was hoping it would be more peanut buttery taste. <laughs> and it is like, it's like a cookie with peanut butter in it. Yeah. I was kind of hoping it would be like a cracker with peanut butter in it, but not my favorite, but I actually do like it more than I was expecting to. Huh. Could we uh, try? Oh yeah, we got this pineapple right blueberry juice. Yeah, that, that snack kind of made me like, oh, I want some, no. something to drink. So pineapple blueberry from Del Monte. This is a... Pretty it's big. a big one. Like, Pineapple blueberry is an interesting combo. Yeah. We don't Not have, something I would think of. We don't have like cups or anything, so. <laughs> I can really smell the blueberry. It almost smells like blueberry juice from Finland. Shout out to my Finnish peeps. <laughs> that is very, like, almost. It tastes like, like grape. Grape, yeah. Like, very strong blueberry to a point where I don't even know if the pineapple is really there. I think. It tastes like grape cough medicine to me. <laughs> this is interesting. I think I'll stick with my beer. Well, what else do we have in this bag? We bag of treats. We still have oh my gosh. some. Oh, we need to try. Sour cream and onion. We need to try this. Shout out to my homies, Jack and Jill. Oh, I feel like these are gonna be my favorites. I love sour cream and onion flavored things. Sour the chip cream. is a lot harder than I expected. These are really thin. But they're really thick in your mouth. Are they? Oh, I thought so. Kind of, yeah. Let's see how you could say that. They're thicker than I expected when you bite into them. I think I prefer the texture of the ribbed barbecue ones that we had earlier, but... I think I might... This almost tastes like a really thin cracker to me. How interesting, man. Jack and Jill just making a whole <laughs> Jack and variety Jill. of them. Crushing the game here. We actually got two of these... Oh, perfect. Magic chips. What Barbecue and cheese flavor? And cheese. I and of know. course, who are they made by? Jack and Jill. I didn't expect... Wait, I didn't even think we got two of these. Wait, I just thought about the nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill go down the hill. No! Oh. I exploded the cheese ones Wait, everywhere. is that a thing here in the Philippines? The Jack and the Jill nursery rhyme? Cheers. I don't know. Cheers. Mmm! Wait, that's not a chip, that's a cracker. Is this cracker chips? Mine, oh yeah, it says cracker chips. I actually really like these. It kind of tastes like chicken in a basket. Chicken in a basket? You ever had that? Hmm. It's chicken in a biscuit. They're crackers back in the United States. You really can't taste the barbecue in that one. I like the barbecue though. I mm. like the flavor. The, or the crunch. Like, it's really crunchy and then soft. It's because they're baked. On mm -hmm. right there it says baked, not fried. Around so there. that means they're healthy for us, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, I we've eaten so many snacks. I don't feel the need to like finish that bag, but. <laughs> I'm like trying to like decide on like where they rank in all the snacks yeah. we've tried so far. Those are definitely like, they're up there. Mm-hmm. I like them. I really like the texture, like the crunch and then the softness. It kind of like crunches and then melts in your mouth. And I like that. Cloud Nine Classic. This is another like chocolate bar. Yeah, it says chocolate bar with Caramel, nougat, nougat, peanuts. It almost sounds like a Snickers, like a Filipino Snickers. Ooh. I hope it tastes like a Snickers. It's very smooth. The other one was bumpy. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, there's a lot of nougat in there. It's like hard to chew. It's really soft. Well, I like, almost tastes like there's marshmallow in there. 
That looks like marshmallow. Oh, I like this one better than I like the other chocolate clip bar. Well, it's called cloud nine, so it kind of tastes like you're eating a cloud. It almost. does. It tastes like marshmallows mixed with peanuts, a little bit of caramel, and then really like thin layer of chocolate around it. I like the choco mucho, if we're being <laughs> honest. That's that's where it's at right there for me. Cloud nine kicks that one's butt. No, I don't think so. You guys should see our table right now. It is like filled with so many little snack bags. Oh wow, we're gonna have to eat all these.